<laughs> sure is cold up here. Ice observation. Oh, goodness. Hey, Bloom Blossoms. Welcome to the second episode of PCS Profiles. We're your hosts, the Matthews. Today, we'll be taking a look at the isolated state of Alaska. Matthew, can you please stop writing these puns? One map fact about Alaska. Alaska is one of the three fragments of the United States. The others being mainland USA and Hawaii. But getting back on track. Get ready to be smacked with some abstract facts. Alaska is known as the last frontier due to its geographic location, or land of the midnight sun, because the sun is visible at midnight during summer months. Their location is reflected in the state motto, which is north to the future. The state mineral is gold. The population is over 738,000, and three famous people from that population at one point or another are Jewel, Libby Riddles, and Carl Ben Nielsen. Major Alaskan industries include oil, tourism, and fishing. Among other requirements, you can get a learner's permit at the age of 14, provisional license at 16, and full license six months later or at the age of 18. Thanks, Henry. And now for more information on the state's history and culture, here's Catherine and Grimm. Alaska first became a state on January 3, 1959. The name originates from Aliska and Aliu, word meaning Great Land. Although Alaska joined the United States fairly late, it still has some notable history. In 1784, Russia established their first settlement on Kodiak Island, Alaska. The United States purchased Alaska as a territory for 7.2 million U.S. dollars in April 1867. Over 100,000 people traveled up north near the territory seeking gold during the Klondike Gold Rush, which lasted from 1897 to 1900. In 1942, during World War II, the Japanese bombed and invaded Aleutian land in the Dutch harbor off the coast of Alaska. Southern Alaska received a 9.2 magnitude earthquake in 1964 where nearly 130 people were killed and many villages and cities were significantly damaged. Alaska has several cultural influences. The main groups are indigenous tribes, such as the Uit or Haida, the Russians, and Americans. Alaskan local foods consist of seafood, such as a variety of salmon, crab, and scallops, and wild meats, such as reindeer or marine animals. Some Alaskan local festivals are the Tesoro Iron Dog Snowmobile Race, the Sitka Whale Fest, and the BP World Ice Art Championships. Snowmobiles. Whaling? Ice art? I had an ice joke, but it slipped my mind. Oh goodness, here's Milena with some info on geography. Alaska is located in the North Pacific region or the non contiguous region of the U.S. In the northern part of Alaska, the climate is subarctic and it sees a lot of snowfall. In the southern parts of Alaska, the climate is cold maritime and there is a little bit of snowfall and a lot of rain. Even in the warmest parts of Alaska, the temperature doesn't get above 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 23.9 degrees Celsius. Alaska is made up of forests, volcanoes, mountains, and glaciers. Some of the notable natural features of Alaska include the Yukon River, the Arctic Coastal Plain, Brooks Mountain Range, Alaska Mountain Range, the Insider Passage, the Alaskan Peninsula, and the Aleutian Islands. Some of the major cities in Alaska are Anchorage, Juneau, Fairbanks, and College. Juneau is the capital of Alaska, and Fairbanks is the warmest of the bunch. Alaska has many unique and beautiful natural locations to visit, as well as fun activities to partake in. Here are some great places we found for you. Spencer Glacier, the Northern Lights in Fairbanks, Alaska, Glacier Bay National Park and Preserve, Fountainhead Antique Auto Museum, the Husky Homestead, the Anchorage Museum at Rasmussen Center, Chugach State Park, Mendenhall Glacier, the Anchorage Market, Crow Creek Mine, the Anchorage Concert Association. Thanks, Melena. Hey guys, why do you have the thermostat down so low? Well? Oh, um, you want me to turn it up? Yes, please. Yes, yeah, please. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, that's better. Yeah, that's oh. lovely. Get ready for our Arizona episode. There are six major installations here in Alaska. Half of them are located around the city of Fairbanks, Isleson Air Force Base, and Army bases Fort Greeley and Fort 
Wainwright. Isleson was constructed in 1943 and is home to the 354th Fighter Wing. Fun fact, it was almost shut down in the 80s and 90s because hazardous substances were found in the area. Fort Greeley began in 1942 as an Army Air Corps base and is now a part of the U.S. Ballistic Missile Defense System. Fort Wainwright was built three years earlier in 1939 and is currently home to several field artillery and infantry units. Moving south, Joint Base Elmendorf Richardson is home to both the Army and Air Force in Anchorage, with units from every branch also represented. It's the headquarters for the United States Alaskan Command, 11th Air Force, U.S. Army Alaska, and Alaskan North American Aerospace Defense Command Region. Valdez Coast Guard Base in the town of Valdez gained fame through its response to the Exxon Valdez oil tanker accident in 1989, and to this day focuses on environmental and oil safety. Finally. Did you know there's another Coast Guard base? Oh goodness. Juneau, Alaska is the hub of the 17th District Coast Guard Operations. United States Coast Guard Juneau was actually founded in 1900, back when Russia still owned Alaska. And now the moment most of you have been waiting for. Whether you're shivering with joy. Or giving it the cold shoulder. It's school! <laughs> Schools known for taking advantage of the outdoors, utilizing technology, and good SAT and ACT scores. The Alaskan School Activities Association is a governing organization for many high school extracurriculars and athletics, including art, baseball, basketball, bowling, cheer, cross country, drama, debate and forensics, esports, football, gymnastics, hockey, music, Nordic ski, rifle, soccer, softball, swim and dive, tennis track and field, volleyball, world language, and wrestling. Teens moving to Fort Greeley may end up attending Delta Junction High School, home of the Wolves. Delta Junction is actually a very small school with only 200 students in the entire school. Bartlett High School is the closest to joint base Almondorf Richardson. Students here are very diverse, as it's the number two most diverse school in Alaska. Also near joint base Almondorf Richardson is Eagle River High School. Eagle River has a very good college prep in test prep, as it is number nine in prep in Alaska. Students at Fort Wainwright can attend the relatively large Lathrop High School, home of the Millions. Allison Air Force Base actually has a high school on post, then Allison Junior Senior High School, home of the Ravens. Although it's small, it's ranked number two for schools in this borough. Valdez High School, home of the Buccaneers, serves the town of Valdez. Although academic achievements are less than much of the state, it is a very small school, giving students a good student to teacher ratio. And now some fun facts with Bennett. Well, go your seatbelts, everyone, because it's time for some more fun facts. Let's get right into it. Alaska is the second to last state added to the good old US of A. It was bought by America from Russia. You know, everyone thought it was a really stupid decision until they found it was chock full of that sweet, sweet crude oil. Some parts of northern Alaska fit into that weird time zone where sun never sets in the summer and the night never ends in the winter. Oh, that's bleak. If you go to sleep at 11 p.m. when it's always day, does it qualify as a nap? Vote in the comments below. Alaska is the single largest state in the Union. Take that, Texas. Just kidding, Texas. I love you and also please don't hurt me. Flow's temperature record in Alaska is negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Hope you look good in winter clothes, bud. <clears throat> Just kidding. It also reaches 80 degrees in some areas in the summer, so don't lose hope. All right, folks, that's it for me. Time to school you down to the conclusion. In conclusion, Alaska is a land of immense natural beauty and heritage. From its humble beginnings as a territory of Russia to the 49th state of the United States, this vast region is rooted in magnificent culture and, from a military perspective, is crucial to our everyday safety. That's all from us. Don't forget, if we got anything wrong, put it in the comments. And hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video, and also follow all other food related content. Yeah. See you next time with Arizona. See ya, Blossoms. Snowmobiles. Whaler? Oh no, Whaley! Okay, ready? Okay. Whale art? Wait, whale art? That's terrible. Okay. The Alaska states. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Stop yelling at me! <laughs> I can't read, I'm sorry. That's oh. oh, oh, You ready for our Arizona episode? I can never get this. Eh? <laughs>